All right. So remember, you will draw four cards and you will do three actions and you can only do one action per card. So you have to choose one of them. If you get the four uh, signal battalion tokens, you do get to do four actions instead of three. I'll put these in my discard pile, which I have there next to my draw pile. So next is the Wehrmacht card face. I will draw three cards every Wehrmacht card face, but I'll uh, do each of the cards uh, before I move on to the next. So we get a rifleman and we'll roll and we get a four and the rifleman moves on to line four. We get Stukas. All right. So luckily we invested in AA, so I have an AA token which I'm going to use. When you use it, you move it to the stock. You get to roll two dice per token. I roll a four and a two. The Stuka, like I said, you can see here, there's three Stukas in this attack. And he has four in armor. So a two doesn't hit, but the four does hit. So I take one of the Stukas out, meaning there is uh, two Stukas remaining. Each Stuka will use three dice to determine which part of the map to bomb. He will bomb number five. There's one remaining and he will bomb. Let's see if I can calculate this. Number 10, which is my artillery position. Okay, moving on to the next card, and we get an attack building. So first we determine what part of the building which wall will be attacked by rolling one dice. We get a 1, meaning he will attack the green wall. The green wall's defensive value is currently at 6, which means he has to roll a 6 to damage it. And this number here tells us how many dice he will roll. So the artillery roll five dice. It doesn't get any six, so my wall stays intact. That's very lucky with five dice. All right, the first Wehrmacht card phase is finished. So we move on to the Soviet counter phase. For each Soviet counterface, I get to do three moves and three actions. Unless I have every commander into the house, there are three commanders totally. If I have every commander in the house in a combat position, I get to do four moves and four actions. But now we only have one, so that's three moves and three actions. We have four counters. So for my three moves and three actions, I will move three men into the red area. Those are my three moves. And then, as I told you before, you can see on these counters, these guys have, all of them are the same. Uh, one, they can do one attack uh, with one dice or they can do one suppression. So I'm gonna use all of these three men to suppress. And this man is in the red area so he can make a suppression token into the red zone. This man is also in the red area and he will make a suppression token into the red zone. This man however is in both the red and the purple area. So doing a suppression action with him I can choose whatever I want to make a suppression token into the purple area or the red area. However, I choose to put a uh, suppression token into the red area. So that's the end of the first Soviet counter phase. And we'll move back to the operational level again. We draw four cards and we get to do three actions. So this time we draw a uh, uh, fog of war cards. You can do anything with them. Uh, I did get free anti-air, uh, anti but I can only use two of them because they are all the 1083rd. I'm gonna use 
two of them, these two, to put two anti-air tokens in the 1084. And I'm going to use the last card to put an artillery token on number 11. And we have the Wehrmacht card face yet again. We draw an attack building. He will attack the purple side of the wall with five dice, leaving to score six to hit. One goes on the floor, I re-roll it, and it's a free. The, no one, uh, he doesn't score a hit because there is no six and the defensive value is six. We get scouts and we place them on number two uh, line. And we get more Stukas. I have two anti-air tokens. I'm going to use them both. Two dice for each, meaning I will roll four dice, needing to score four or higher to hit the Stukas. I only hit one Stukas, so there's two Stukas remaining. First Stuka attacks number 13. Second Stuka attacks number 8. All right, first, second Vemax phase. Oops, is done. So we go back to the Soviet area. I will simply move in Pavlo. Uh, I will use his command action. Again, which you can see here, that he has the command action and also the Storm Raid uh, group ability. But I'm using his command action to refresh my free troops. So they're ready for next turn. And I don't have any more men. If I had two more men, I could do two more actions. But unfortunately, I haven't been able to recruit uh, more men. So that's all for that turn. Again, we go to the Soviet card turn. We get four cards. And again, a lot of AA, which worries me because that means I'm not going to have a lot of AA in the end of the deck. I am going to use the Volga Military Flotilla to remove this disruption token. I'm going to use the uh, 139th Signal Battalion to put a token there. And then I'm going to use the 1083rd uh, uh, Anti-Aircraft Regiment to put a AA token there. And that is free actions used. And the cards go to the discard pile. Wehrmacht phase number three. We get Stukas again. I'm using my uh, one anti-air token to roll two dice. And we hit one of them. There is two Stukas. So there's one Stuka remaining. And the Stuka bombs 12, 15. So disruption tokens goes on 15. And because I don't have anything there protecting it. Uh, I have to put a Fog of War card into my uh, Soviet deck discard pile. We get more Stukas. We roll three dice, dice, there is two of them. We roll 12. So my second AA position is fully disrupted. And there is one more Stuka coming. And we roll 11. I have an artillery token there, so I don't get a disruption token, but the artillery token is removed. And we get an attack building. He will attack the red part of the building with four dice. And he gets a six, which is the defensive value of it, so the purple is damaged. All right, so we can see here now that the next phase is going to be the resupply phase. So uh, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, for example, if I had five men here, obviously I wouldn't want to use the radio to recruit another one because then it would cost two food tokens next Wehrmacht turn. Anyway, it's time to do some battling. So I will, uh, let's see, move this guy here. Uh, 
and I'm moving them like that. That's three moves. I'm using Lushenko to fire at the rifleman rolling one dice. Again, the rifleman's defensive value is four. I need a four or higher to be able to take him out. I roll a three, so I miss. I'll use my next man to fire another dice. And he rolls six. And the rifleman is out of the game. I want to use my Chernogolov as well to fire at the scouts. I need a five or higher because the scouts do have five defensive value. I roll a six and the scout is out of the game. All my actions are taken and we're moving back to the Soviet card phase, drawing four cards. All right, I finally got the 13th Guards Rifle Division Command Post, which lets me recruit one man or several men. Basically, it gives me six recruitment points. I'm gonna go ahead and recruit my favorite soldier, uh, which is the Sniper, and we get the three circles there, meaning he costs six points. The six circles, sorry. So he ca ca costs six points, and that's what I get from that card. So he goes into the reserves. Uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and remove a disruption token from the 267th anti-air and I'm gonna go ahead and use the Volga military flotilla to put two food tokens and one uh, first aid token in the Volga river and that's it for this turn all right, so we start with the resupply card. That's always the first card uh, when there's a new phase. And I count my Soviet counters. I have one, two, three, four, five. And there's one uh, supply token, uh, food supply token for every five defenders, meaning one of my uh, food tokens goes in back into the stock. If I would have had, say that I would have had one token and six men, the one token would go away and I would have to kill one out of, uh, out of the six men because of starvation. Then we get this card. This is very nice because I, I described the card before, the assault card. The infantry will suppress the defenders and then the armor will attack the building. But I have effect effectively killed all of the infantry. There's no armor yet, so the card does nothing. We have a sniper. Okay, this is scary because if he kills my commander, I will have a big problem the rest of the game. Let's see first which part of the building he will attack. He will attack the red part of the building. Okay. He will uh, try to kill uh, this man, Alessandrov. We see his attack value here, which is four. So we will roll four dice. The current health of the wall is 6, and so he needs to roll a 6 to be able to kill him. And he rolls 3 sixes. He is a sniper, so I'm not surprised. Uh, my Soviet guy here is KIA from the sniper. If I would have had a med kit, I would have the option to save him. The, so the two uh, German cars, Wehrmacht cars, goes into the discard pile. The resupply card turns into a storm group card, which goes into the storm group area of the board. Next, we have the uh, Soviet uh, counter phase. And all I'm gonna do this phase is move in with the sniper and use the unexhaust action on all of my exhausted cow uh, Soviet guys here. So they're unexhausted now, and that's all I can do because I only have three actions. All right, back to the Soviet card face. We draw four cards as usual. And we have one Fog of War card. We'll use the 139th Signal Battalion to put away the Fog of War card 
and draw an additional card. I will use the uh, Volga military flotilla to move in my supplies here into the supplies of the house from the Volga river and then I'm gonna go ahead and use let's see I'll use the 13th guards rifle division command post to recruit men worth of six points and I am recruiting my first commander is worth four points and then I'm recruiting an anti-tank uh, soldier which can man an anti-tank team and they go into the reserves and that's all I can do I've done three actions So Wehrmacht card phase and we're now into phase number two already. We have the mortar who's gonna attack the green side. We're gonna try to suppress a defender. Uh, he's going to try to suppress Shergolov who is my only defender there. He's using four dice and he doesn't manage to suppress him. So nothing happens. We get scouts and they go on number five. Number five is the least of my worry because it has four spots, four rows. The other ones have three. And we get our first tank, a Panzer Zwei. Uh, the Panzer Zwei go goes on number four. Soviet turn. Uh, I'm moving in my commander, let's see, no I'm not, yes I am, and I'm moving uh, Chernogolov up there, I'm firing with my sniper, first of all, four dice at the scouts in number five, and the scouts goes away because they have five defense, I roll two sixes, I'm using Glushenko, and Chernogolov to put two suppression tokens in the red area. And that's my actions for the Soviet phase. And we go back to the card phase for cards. We need to invest in AA because we're gonna get blasted soon, I can feel it. We have two cards for both areas, we're getting one AA token in the 1083rd and one AA token in the 267th and then we use the recruitment card to get our second commander and we'll also get an uh, anti-tank rifle, six points. They go into the reserve area. We have the Wehrmacht card face, a tank, Panzer die, goes into number 6, Rifleman goes into number 1, Machine Gunners goes into number 3, a lot of units this turn. Alright, back to the Soviet uh, phase. Uh, what we're gonna do now, let's see, we have four action this turn. We're gonna use the radio with one of my commanders to call in a second AA uh, or an anti-tank gun. He goes into the reserves though, so I can't use him this turn, but for next turn. And then I'm gonna use my three remaining uh, actions, because I have all of the three commanders now. I get four actions and four moves instead of the original three. I'm gonna use them 
to unexhaust these guys and they're using it. They're, it's not a command they're doing it, they're doing it themselves as an action. So that's my four actions this turn. So we have card face, we got four cards. A lot of recruitment cards. Let's see how many men we have. I usually don't want to get more than 10 the first turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can get two more men into the house. And if I wanted to, I could use them all. That would be 18 recruitment points. I'm not. I'm going to start with, let's see, I'm going to start with that one. Uh, I'll recruit. Two more A anti tank guys, which cost three and two, so that's five points. I have one more point. Hmm. The other point will just be lost. I use one more card to recruit. Uh, and actually I'm going to use, let's see, this card instead. And I'll recruit an anti-tank gun and this guy who costs free, so that's six points. I have 11 guys into my house now, which is not too good. And therefore I think I'll just play it that way, but Basically, I hope one guy dies, or I'll try to recruit more guys. Guess. Oh, this is tough. Okay, I'm using one more card. I'm gonna do it this time, just because it feels nice. Okay, so I had one point left on that, because that was just five points. I get a mortar guy there. And then I have six points with this. I get the mortar gun. The more another mortar guy, that's three points. I have three points remaining. I'm just going to see how many guys I have. 13 men, I can have two more men. So I'm using my last three points to get uh, a forward spotter. All right. So a lot of recruitment. This is going to be an expensive. I'm going to have to use a lot of these uh, tokens. All right, let's see where we're at. We get an attack building. It attacks the red part of the building with three dice. And it fails because the building has uh, six, in, six in health. We get another Panzer II, lots of Panzers now, so we gotta get rid of them before they start firing at the building. Number six, Panzer Dry, we have two there. And we get a Stuka. I'm gonna use one of my AA tokens on him. There's two of the Stukas, and both of the Stukas are dead. That's lucky. All right, Soviet counterface. Uh, let's see, I want to get rid of those tanks, I think. So I'll move in two of my anti-tank team guys here. And I will move in two more over here. And that's four moves. And I just want to show you this guy again. This guy has the Inspire ability. He's an anti-tank guy, uh, which is shown by the A. And the Inspire ability will let every other team uh, in the house uh, with the same designation, meaning every other anti-tank team, roll one additional die. So he's a very powerful counter. We're going to fire at the Panzer Freeze. We'll start with this team, which have the anti-tank guy with 
uh, gun with four uh, attack and he will get five dice because of the uh, inspire ability. I'm just gonna use this guy because there's so many. So five dice, he needs to roll five or higher. He rolls uh, enough and the tank is gone. I'm using my second A8 uh, anti-tank team here and their anti-tank rifle has uh, three in attack, but they will get also one additional dice with the um, inspire ability uh, counter here, meaning they will fire four instead of three. Five or higher. They get five and six, and that, that tank is also out of the game. All right. So good turn. I managed to kill two tanks. I'm happy about that. I only have two uh, cards left in my Soviet uh, deck, so I have to shuffle my cards. And this is when I will get those uh, Fog of War cards that I've been putting in from getting the Sinon Battalion bombed by the Stukas. All right, so I'll use the 139 signal battalion to get rid of the Fog of War card and draw a new card. I'll use the 267th to put an AA token there. And then I'll use the second 267th to remove that disruption token from number 12. And those are my free action this turn. Wehrmacht card face, we get a Stuka, three Stukas. I'm gonna use two of my AA tokens to roll four dice to see if I can hit the Stuka. And I hit two of the Stukas, there are one Stuka remaining. And he will bomb number 11, which is one of the artillery positions. We get, unfortunately, a second Stuka card with three Stukas, so all of them are gonna be able to bomb me. The first Stuka bombs number 10. Number 10 is already disrupted, it moves up, 11 is disrupted, it goes to number 12. Second Stuka will bomb number 8, it's already bombed, it moves up to number 9. The third and last Stuka will bomb, let's see, 10, 16. I do have a token there, so I don't get the Fog of War card, luckily. But it's still annoying. Okay, last Lama card, hopefully not, also a Stuka. It's a Rifleman. And the Rifleman will go on number two. All right, let's see what we can do now. I'm gonna use my Sniper to fire at the Machine Gunners in number three and he's using four dice he needs four or higher he gets it and the machine gunner is out of the game i'm using pablo's command ability to unexhaust these three men I'm using my, let's see here, I'm using my third action to unexhaust him and my fourth action I'm using to fire at the rifleman with this soldier. Remember this guy is in the red, green and the red zone so he can fire in the green sector and the red sector. He only, only has one dice though, so his chances are not high. I need to get a four or higher. That's a 50% chance. 
it's a one. I fail. So those are my four actions for this turn. I, I was stupid now because I could have moved in this guy and fired two uh, dice uh, instead. But I have so many men now that I'm not really <laughs> um, focused. Alright, four more cards. And again we only get these recruitment cards, which I don't feel like I need right now. So we're going to use them to uh, put up our um, anti-air. This I'll use to remove our disruption token. This I'll use to put a, a, a token in the 276th. Uh, 67 sorry and um, I'll have to use this to recruit because there's basically nothing else I can do since I have a the sapper can't do anything and there's a fog of war I'm just gonna uh, count how many guys I have again 14 guys meaning um, next uh, supply phase I need to have 15 or or one of them are gonna die because I have three food tokens I'm getting Voronov I'm getting a second uh, forward spotter and I'm getting a, just a rifleman or whatever you want to call them and that's it I have a plan. Okay, Wehrmacht phase. We have a attack building and this is a special one because it can't attack the green. It will most likely attack the purple and there's a small chance it will attack the red part of the wall. I don't like it. I hope it doesn't go on purple, which it does because the purple is the only wall which has damage. He rolls only three dice though and needs five or higher. And he gets a 6, so the purple wall goes down to 4. And I have to start thinking about bringing sappers in to start rep repair that wall. We get the rifleman on number 2. And we get a machine gunner on number 3. Okay. So back to Soviet, you see here now, next phase is the resupply phase. Don't worry, like I said, I have a plan. I'm gonna go ahead and move my mortars in here. Use them to get six. Uh, oh, before I do that, before I use them, I want to move in my guy here. See this one, two, three, four moves, okay? And then I'll use my mortar. And as you can see on the mortar counter, he has a six suppression value, meaning I will get six suppression tokens in there. Unfortunately, I only have five, but that's still good. That's a lot of suppression tokens. I like that. I have two more actions. I'm going to use uh, uh, Lushenko to fire at the machine gunners. He misses. I'm going to use Hoholov to fire at the rifleman with two dice. And he also misses. So that's all of my action this turn. Not completely satisfied. I wished I would have killed at least one of the infantry. But sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you are not. Alright. So. We're gonna go ahead and do our first, very first uh, storm raid. And we're gonna do that with this card. It's with the 62nd Army Command post that you initiate storm, uh, storm raids and number 18 on the board cannot be disrupted. And then you have to look at the Storm Group Raid card 
it's a purple uh, color here, meaning that there can be no Wehrmacht counters in the purple uh, zone. I need to roll 12 to win and I will get 6 victory points. So, I really don't want anyone to die in this storm raid. I can only use men who are not exhausted, so there's not many I can choose from. I will use these two men. Each man will have one dice to roll. Like I said, I need to roll 12. Except these men, this guy who has the storm group ability. He and the other three commanders has it, meaning he will roll two extra dice, meaning he will totally roll three dice. So I'll use these two men, uh, initiate it with this action, and they will roll together three plus one four dice, they need to roll 12. All right, I got 10, uh, 20, I got 20 and I needed 12. So this storm group has been a success. Now we have to see who survives and who doesn't. I roll one dice and one to four, they are KIA, 5 to 6, they survive. So I'm rolling for Voronov first. <clears throat> 4, he is dead. I can use a med kit to save him. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do. So he's saved. And then I'm rolling for the next guy. Same rules. 1 to 4 dead, 5 to 6. Uh, survives and I get a free meaning he's KIA I do get tw uh, six victory points though from the storm raid so I have three more actions I can take this turn two more actions sorry <clears throat> I'm going to use the signal battalion to get a protective token here. And I'm going to go ahead and use this card to get food tokens. Uh, I get, like I said, five tokens. So I get two med kits and two sapper tokens, one food token. And the last card will not be used. Okay, so we have the third Wehrmacht card face. The resupply card, one food for every five defenders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We have sixteen men. But we have only three food tokens, meaning one man has to die from starvation. Who will we not give food cans to? It's a very hard choice, but I will choose one of the mortar guys because I'm actually not going to use the mortar anymore. So he's killed from starvation. These tokens goes back into the stock. And that's it. Okay, this is not the card I wanted now because we have a lot of infantry which we didn't manage to kill, but we got it, so we have to play it. So, we start with the infantry first, and we have three infantry. Again, this is their suppression value, one, and there's three of them, riflemen. So they will roll three dice uh, together. First of all, we will see who they will try to suppress. Number three, there is no one there, it goes up. They will try to suppress Naumo, my commander. They have three dice together, the defensive value is six. And they roll a six, so he's suppressed, and we put a disruption token on him. In the red area we have a machine gunner, 
he has 2 in suppression value. He will try to suppress number 6, which is the mortar. He will use 2 dice, and he has, the defensive value is 6. And he gets the 6, and he is successfully suppressed. In the purple area, we have no infantry. Then we go on to the tanks. No tanks in green, one tank in red. He has only one attack value. Uh, so he will roll one dice to try to attack and it's a three uh, and I have six in the fence so the wall doesn't come down. I was seeing five, maybe it was a four. Five is easier so I'll put him in four, four to be safe. Four is a worse place to get him. Stukas, of course, we use our Anti-air token to roll two dice. There's three stukas. Maybe we can get one or two of them. We get two of them. Nice. So there's one stuka left. And he bombs number 15. Number 15 already has a disruption token. So one of my tokens goes away. I'm happy I put that there now so I don't have to get a fog of war card. All right. Like before, the resupply cards turns into a storm group card this time it's in the green area we have quite a lot of infantry there so we'll see if we will if we will be able to pull that off uh, okay soviet counterface again uh, i would like to move my 80 anti-tank team up there but i can't because all of them are disrupted i'll do one action remove the disruption token from my commander. I'll use this commander to unexhaust three men. And let's see. I use my third action to unexhaust him and my fourth action to unexhaust Pablo oh wait a moment here I got a little bit confused he was unexhausted He was exhausted, right? He was exhausted. That's the way it was, right? Too many, too many soldiers in the Mahavas. Okay, here we go again. I'm using him as an action to unexhaust these three men. I just keep screwing up, don't I? All right, he used his action to do that. Uh, I'm using his action to unexhaust him, his action to unexhaust him, his action to unexhaust him. So that's four actions. If you see me make an error, just comment in the comment section, let me know. It does happen sometimes. It's That's how it is when you play board games. Um, uh, as long as it's not something big, I'm okay with it. Next turn we have the Soviet card face. Four cards, three actions. Okay, we have the Volga. Gonna go ahead and use that to get food tokens into my house and I'm, <laughs> I changed my mind I'm getting one food token, one sapper and one med kit I'm using the sapper to uh, let's see, should I do that? Hmm. No, I'm using this because I don't have any anti-air to put a uh, token there to protect myself against the Stukas and that's it 
get a rifleman on six attack building I should have repaired the purple wall I decided not to stupid three dice four or higher oh yeah it's down to three one more hit and everyone will be disrupted there a panzer four on one That's it for this uh, um, Wehrmacht phase. We'll move on to our Soviet phase. And we are going to move this guys into the spot of Lushenko. He does get a free move now. I have used two moves and we'll use him to go to the purple number one. Uh, we'll move our sniper down here and we'll use these two men to fire at the tank the Panzer Zwei with four dice he has only four uh, armor so he should be dead Yes, he's dead. We're using our sniper here to fire at the rifleman. We'll actually fire at the rifleman here. Uh, to, that's together with the tank. Four dice. And four or higher. And I got a four and a five, so he's gone. I'm using my Hoholog, who has two attack value, to fire at. Uh, these riflemen here. He also needs four or higher. He gets a six and a five. Very good. This rifleman is also gone. So it's feeling like things are going pretty good, but I need to repair this wall fast. I need to get more supplies of food in. Okay, so we can get supplies in again. We'll move them from the staging area first to the Volga, and the second card we'll use to move them into the supply zone of the house. We use the last card to get uh, anti air token in the 267th position, and that's our free actions. Wehrmacht face yet again, Stukas. Oof. We use our one AA token to roll two dice. We didn't get a single one, there is four of them, so this is gonna hurt. We get 12, 13. That's the first. We get 7, 8, which goes to 9. Second. We get 10, which goes all the way to 14. Now I'm starting to go get trouble here. Fog of War card goes into my Soviet discard pile. Uh, that's the third one. So this is the last Stuka bombing. Oh my! It goes on 18. That's very bad. If I get one more hit there, the game is instantly lost. Let's hope that we don't get any more Stukas this Wehrmacht card face. Oops, sorry about that. We get an attack building. This can only attack the green or the red part, luckily. He will attack the green part which has full health, six, he misses, and we have another attack building, also green or red, he will attack green as well, with three dice, and he misses, that's nice, finally I get a little briefer, because it feels like now things are turning bad, uh, let's see what I want to do, 
I have a lot of exhausted men. I'm moving in though with my forward spotters. I'm using my commander to refresh or command these three men. Okay, rewind. <clears throat> rewind, please. Before I do that, I'm going to move my AT team there, which is a two move, uh, three move for him. Uh, and I did two moves here, so that's four moves. I am going to use these two guys to fire at the Panzer IV, the Panzer IV, with five dice. They have the anti-tank and the four attack and an inspire counter, so they get five dice, I need six. And we don't get a six, uh, so he, he didn't die. I didn't destroy it. Uh, so I'm using my uh, commander to refresh free uh, troops uh, <clears throat> for my last action I'm gonna go ahead and fire with Krushenko one dice at the rifleman and it's a one he didn't get him tough luck okay back to the soviet card phase hopefully i'll get a sapper now i need to repair that purple ball and fortunately i do we need to invest in AA, but I'm going to go ahead and use two of the sappers, remove two of the sapper tokens in my supplies, back to the stock, and it goes from three up to four up to five. For my AA, all of it is disrupted, I'm going to move away 13 from here. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I forgot about number 18, the 62nd Army Command post. I have to get that disruption token out of there. Or if I take another hit, it's an instant uh, fail. Instant defeat. Okay, my AA defenses aren't looking good. I'm going to have to work on that. <clears throat> Hopefully I will not get the Stukas. I got so many of them last turn. So I hope I will not get them now. We get a Panzer II on number four. A machine gunner. Oh, get in, I'll take next die on number three. And thank you, we didn't get the Stuka. We get the mortar, he will suppress in the purple zone, uh, which I just repaired thankfully. He will try to suppress my soldier here, and he needs a 5 or higher, he is gonna roll 4 dice. Actually I kinda hope he dies, because I have no more use of that man at all. I can't use him, there's only 2 so uh, mortar men, and the second one is dead, which means I can't use that mortar. The only thing I need him for is he gets me a point. And he's not dead anyway. <laughs> the only uh, time the men don't die is when you don't want them to die. Alright. So, next. Soviet counterface. I'm gonna move my. AT team down here, change their place with 
the sniper. Uh, let's see what I'll do else. Nothing. I'm gonna fire with the sniper. On the machine gunners with four dice. He needs a four or higher. And they are dead. After that, I'm gonna use my AT team to fire at the Panzer four yet again. Only with four dice, but with a little bit of luck, I might get him. I need a six or higher. I did get him. Very nice. I'm thankful for that. One last action. I'll use my commander Pavlo. He will uh, refresh these men. So that's all my actions. All right, Soviet card face again. Let's hope we get some AA. We only got one AA. I'm going to use the 139 signal battalion to get rid of a fog of war card, draw a new card. And we did get some AA now. So we got two 1083rd using the first one to remove a disruption token, using the second one to put an AA token there. And that's it. Okay, Wehrmacht card face. Attack building, and it's probably gonna hit purple. So we are. It was a good choice to repair it. It's hitting purple. With three dice. Needs a five or higher. And it hits purple. I'm sad that it hit purple, but I'm still happy that it didn't get uh, destroyed. Because I repaired it. We have scouts on number three. And we have a stug on number four. I'm gonna have to start using my suppression tokens in the red area now. I usually save them for the end, but it's getting pretty filled up there, so in the, f in the future I'm going to start using my suppression tokens. Okay, we go back to our Soviet, uh, Soviet troops. I'm changing place with these two guys, that's one move. And I'll use Hoholov to fire at the scouts with two dice. He needs five or higher. I will fire at the machine gunners instead. He needs four or higher. And I did a good choice. The machine gunner is gone. I wouldn't have got the sniper. I'll use Pablo to reenact or unexhaust himself. I use Afanesev to unexhaust himself. And I'm using Sharknogolov to... Oh, should I? No, no, I'm using the sniper to not exhaust himself. Okay. Soviet card face again. We have only one card, so we have to shuffle our deck. I'm going to go ahead and pile shuffle them real fast here. We'll make sure they are properly shuffled. Okay, we get some more AA. I'm going to use these two to first remove the disruption token, put an AA token, and I'm going to use. Let's see, this card remove number 11 disruption. 
So we have some more AA now. Yes. In case we get Stukas, we get a pencil free for number four. Wow, okay, number four is in trouble. Pencil free. We get a sniper. Let's see who he will try to kill. The sniper will try to kill someone in the red area. He will try to kill my Bohonov, who I like a lot, with four dice. He needs a six, and he gets a six. And I am going to go ahead and use a med kit to save him. I'm just gonna crawl on the floor to get the dice. I dropped. And next card. We get a machine gunner on number one. Next phase is going to be the resupply phase. We have 15 men, so it's okay. I would like to have one more man just to get rid of this mortar guy. Uh, I need to start getting AA ready now or the anti-tank ready because this is a big problem. I'm using Pavlov to command these men. And I'm using Dalnov. No, he was already exhausted, sorry. I'm using the sniper to fire at the scouts with four dice. He needs five or better to kill him. And I get a five luckily. So he's gone. Uh, quite literally gone off the table. Uh, using my two last actions to activate them okay so back to the soviet card phase yet again Uh, let's see what we should do here. We can't use the AA. We can't use the sappers. We can do a <clears throat> 60 second army command post to get stuff into the staging area. Uh, I'm gonna get some medic stuff, some of these. And I'm using the Volga military flotilla to move them here. And I'm using the 139th Signal Battalion to remove a token. This is a risk because if I get, get a hit there, I will get a Fog of War card. So that's really something you shouldn't do usually unless you have two of these actions and can immediately put a, uh, put a counter there. But I'll take the risk for now. Resupply phase. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 men requires 5 food tokens. They get into the stock again. And this is the last, uh, last resupply phase. Stukas, okay, there's three of them. I'm using two of my 
anti-air tokens, which means I will get to roll four dice. I get all of them. Five, five, and four. Thank you. And we get a rifleman. And he will go on number four. If he successfully goes on number four, I have immediately lost the game. Fortunately, I have saved one heck of a lot of suppression tokens. Now the question is, how many should I use? If I want to be sure that I don't fail, I'll use all of them, but I think that's too many. I will need them. I'm gonna go ahead and use four of them. Every roll, every dice is 50% chance, so I should get him, but there definitely is a chance I will not. These tokens goes back in, into the stock here, not into the supplies. Four dice, I need four or higher. If I fail, I have lost. <laughs> I got a one, a one, a two, three misses, a six, one hit. And he will not go on the board. I haven't lost yet. I'm still alive, but I am also very lucky. The storm group here, I didn't manage to initiate it. So I'll just put it with the resupply uh, up to remember I didn't achieve it. This one I did. And this will move into the storm group uh, place on the map and I will play my next uh, Soviet counterface. Alright, Soviet counterface, let's see what we wish to do. We wish to get rid of those tanks. So we'll move these two here. He will get a free move over here. Uh, and two moves here, he will get a free move there. And we have used our four moves of the of the face. I'm gonna start by firing with these men. And then I'm gonna fire with them, so I'm just gonna turn them now. <clears throat> these men with three attack plus one will attack the Panzer Zwei uh, with four dice. They need a four or higher. They get a good result. He's definitely destroyed. My other anti-tank team, which has four attack plus one, five, will attack the Stug. Uh, the Stug is stronger than the Panzer Free, but with the same defense. Five or higher. And they get one five. Well, close call, but he's gone. And that's all of the actions I get to do for actions. But I feel a lot safer right now. It was a close call just recently. For Soviet cards, I'm gonna have to start investing in AA again. These two. I will use to get AA tokens in the 1083rd. Then I will go ahead and move my supplies here from the Volga military flotilla into my supplies in Pablo's house. And that's my free actions. All right, we get a sniper. Luckily, we do have a medkit if he kills someone. Uh, he will shoot at someone in the green area. Let's see he, who he will shoot at. He will shoot at my commander. That's bad. He will shoot with four dice. And he has to score a six. Which he does. And very, very fortunately, I just brought in a med kit. And again, I'm saved in the last second. Uh, very lucky but luck never lasts so let's not celebrate yet because things can definitely happen like that right there uh, we're, we have the dreaded assault card always starting with the infantry we have a rifleman machine gunner one plus three dice uh, they will try to suppress number one which is one of my 80 guys there they draw three dice together 
need six or higher they or higher they need six but they didn't get it next infantry man we have uh, one rifleman in purple he's gonna try to suppress number two which is Pavlo he only has one die he needs four or higher he gets two he miss infantry taken care of we have the tank he has two attack value he's gonna try to shoot down the red wall the red wall is at six he needs a six to destroy it he misses wow and we get the rifleman the rifleman goes on number six and that's it okay we have the soviet counterface yet again uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move him there. I want to get a shot at the rifleman. I'm gonna go ahead and use my commander first to reactivate these guys. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm activating my sniper. Hmm. I'm reactivating a commander instead. On exhaust, I mean, and also the sniper. He on exhaust himself. I'm firing with Hohlov at one of the riflemen. He has two dice, attack value, and they have four health, so he needs a four or higher. He gets a five, thank you, and he's gone. That's all of the actions I can take. Yeah, used him. Used him. Used him. All right, that's fine. Uh, back to the Soviet hard face. We're gonna use the recruitment now because we want to get men into the house to get more points. We get six points. We're gonna get uh, three of the one point guys. That's six victory points if we survive. I'm going to go ahead and get the 139th Signal Battalion to cover up that spot. I'm going to use the sappers to repair this building, remove a token, and that's it. We get the mortar. He's going to suppress the red area. He's going to try to suppress uh, my AT team there with four dice. He needs six or higher. And he managed to suppress one of them, unfortunately. We get a Panzer IV on number six. And we get a machine gunner on number six. Wow, that's not very good. But that's it. All right, Soviet counterface again. Uh, we're gonna move our sniper there. <clears throat> First, we'll use the sniper to fire at the machine gunners with. Four dice, the machine gunner has four health, I mean four or higher. I did get a four and the machine gunner is gone. Then I would use my AT team here to fire at the Panzer III. And they will use four dice, they need five or higher. He got a five, 
so he's dead. And I got one dice on the floor again. I'm just gonna crawl down and get it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see. Sorry. Uh, I got the tank. I have one more action. I'm gonna use my commander. He's going to remove one destruction token from him. He's gonna reevact reactivate him. And he's gonna reactivate Holofollow or whatever his name is. So that's our four actions for this turn. And we go back to the Soviet card face. Okay, we got more <coughs> recruitment. We're gonna keep bringing guys in. One point. Four points. Six points. We got five men, that's five victory points. If we make it. Gonna go ahead and put an artillery on position number eleven, and we're gonna remove this disruption token. The marked card face. We get Stukas, four of them. We're using two of our Stuka tokens to fire four dice. And I have been lucky now for quite a while, so I think now I will not be lucky. Four dice. Uh, I was lucky, I got three of them. One remaining. And it's eight. It goes here. We got scouts coming on number two. And we get another stoop on three. All right, Soviet face again. Let's see what we decide to do. I'm going to change place with them. And I'm going to use my artillery, which is a, is a wonderful thing. I have an artillery token there, and I have a forward spotter here. Again, uh, it's the F. He uses his action. Artillery token is removed. And these two guys who are adjacent will be targeted. I'll start with the rifleman. You will fire two dice on each of them. Rifleman, four or higher, the rifleman is dead. Then I will fire two dice at the Panzer four. Uh, he needs a six. Oh. Four dice, one more. Oh, I got him. That is the power of the artillery. Uh, tank team here, or anti-tank team, I'm using them. Uh, they have four attack plus one because of the Inspire. And that means they will fire five dice. Five, which four are on the table, one is on the floor. Now retrieved. They need five or higher to kill the stook. <laughs> they got three sixes. The stook is history. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Use my last action to fire with Volonov on the machine gunners. Two dice. He needs five or uh, four or higher. He gets a six. The machine gunners are also his history. And that's it for our 
Soviet counterface. We'll go back to our Soviet card face, pick four cards. We got more recruitment. The question is, do we want to use it? If I use it, I will get three more victory points. I will say that it's worth it. I'm getting two men here with uh, two points cost each. Uh, and as you can see, there's only two more men to recruit. So I, I have almost recruited everyone. Uh, I need to get AA now to be safe. I'm going to get one more artillery because I love it. And that means I can't get any uh, AA, but I can get rid of a disruption token at least. We have marked card face, we get a Panzer free. Goes on number five. A machine gunner goes on six. Scouts goes on three. We're gonna suppress them. We are gonna use four suppression tokens. They will go into the uh, stock. Uh, he will go on three if I don't roll uh, five or higher. I roll five and six, he will not go on three. Two suppression tokens remaining. And this is why I save them for the end of the game. Because I really don't want to get more guys into the red zone, I'm not going to be able to initiate the Milk House Storm Raid. Alright, we're going to have to take care of that tank, but I'm going to move this guy there first, change place. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see... Tough call, very tough call indeed. Because I need my commanders ready to go. They have three dice to roll in the final storm raid. <clears throat> they can't be exhausted. All right, I'm gonna use all of my actions today to unexhaust my AT teams so I can fire at the tanks that are in the red zone and next I will have there's just three more cards here after that I'm gonna unexhaust them here and yeah to be able to use them but I have to get that tank now with these guys or I will be screwed okay Last Soviet face here now. Okay, so we're gonna use this card to recruit the two last men. All men have been recruited. Fog of War card, I'll leave that. Signal Battalion, I'll put a Signal Battalion uh, in there. I have all four now, so if there would be one more turn, I would be able to do four actions, but this is the last. Soviet turn, unfortunately. Uh, using this card here to get one AA token. And that's the last Soviet phase. Now for the last phase of the Wehrmacht, we get a Stuka. We use our one AA token, there's four Stukas, we get one of them, there will be three Stuka attacks. Number eight, already disrupted, goes to nine. Number nine, already disrupted, fortunately I lose my artillery. Let's see, that's the third. 
And finally number 10 goes to 11. So I did lose my artillery, but worst, thing, worst things could have happened. I get this assault card again. Uh, this man here will try to suppress number 1, which is my AT team. That's very bad. They will roll two dice together and need a 6 to suppress it. They didn't get it. I'm lucky. This man here has two suppression. He will try to suppress number two, which is Pablo. He has two dice. And he managed to suppress Pablo. Wow, that's bad luck. That's three dice I will not get. We have the Panther, the Panzer. It's the only tank. He will use two dice to fire at the red wall. He gets a 6, he managed to damage the red wall, but we don't care about that now. Last card, Storm Group, the Milk House. So I didn't manage to get this, uh, this Storm Raid, so I'm turning it to the resupply uh, to show that I didn't achieve it. This one goes here, and now I have one last chance uh, with my guys here. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get that tank and I'm going to try to get as many infantry as well because every inf counter surviving gives me three less victory points. So the 80 guys stay here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see my snipe is tired. I'm just going to leave it like it is. There's not much I can do. Uh, I'm gonna use this AT team which has four attack plus one because of the inspire meaning he has five dice to attack the Panzer three five dice he needs five or higher we got five the tank is dead the red is clear and now we have to prepare for the storm group. So what I do want to do now is instead of killing these, which will be minus nine victory points, I will let's see, I will get two plus dice for every commander. So that's three dice. Yeah, I, that's what I'm gonna do because it's just fifty percent chance of hitting them anyway. I can fire with Krushenko at the machine gunner and with Sarkisan at the rifleman. I would have 50% chance to get free victory points uh, extra, but instead I choose to use my two actions to unexhaust Afanesiev and Naumov, and they will roll three dice instead of one. And I might save some men to give me more victory points. Okay, so that is the last Soviet counterface. And we now have the milk house raid. I will not use Pablo because he's disrupted and he's also exhausted. But I will use Voronov, Naumov, and Afanisiev. They have three dice each, meaning they will get nine dice. I like to play this one safe, so I will use a few more men. I'm going to use my men here. That's 10, 11 dice. That's 12, 13 dice. That should be enough. Okay, so you only have five dice in the base game. But to make it exciting, I have some more dice here. So we will do it all in one roll. So we have three plus three plus three. That's nine dice. Uh, plus 4, that's 13 dice. I need to roll 30 to get the 15 victory points. So these are the dice we're going to roll here. <clears throat> and as I said before, look at the color of the Storm Group card. It's red here in the square, meaning the red area has to be clear. Okay, this is it. Are you ready? 30 or higher? 
Whoa, okay, let's see. We have 10, 15, 20, 26. We have 30, we have successfully stormed the milk house. And just for fun, we're gonna see exactly how much we got. 36, 39, 40, we got 44. So it's good, it's all good. Now we're gonna have to see, before we start to calculate our victory points, we have to see who survived. One to four, they died. Five to six, they survived. Voronov. Voronov is KIA. Naomov. Naomov is KIA. Afanesev, come on. Ha! He survived, goes back into the reserves. Chernogolov is KIA. Glushenko is also KIA. Come on, give me one survivor. KIA. Just one more. All right, last guy. And he's KIA. That's six victory points I lose. Not happy about that. But the storm raids were deadly. And a lot of casualties. <clears throat> All right. So it's time to calculate our victory points. We have two successful storm raids. 15 and 6 victory points, that's 21. And survivors in the house. 5. 10. 15. 20, 23. So from the storm rates we have 21 points. From the for, uh, 21 points for storm groups and from the survivors of the house we have 24 points. So 21 plus 24 it should be 45. Um, if my math is correct. Uh, and we have to subtract 3 points for every Wehrmacht counters, so that's 3, 6, 9, 40, uh, let's see, what did we say, 45? 45 minus 9, that's 34. Let's calculate it again, 21, uh, 31, 41, 45, 45 minus 3, uh, that's 36. 36 points. Okay, we got 36 victory points and you look in this manual in the end there It tells you what victory level you got and uh, We can see here that 30 to 39 is order of the red banner uh, a major victory. So we got 36 victory points uh, That's quite close to order of the victory. I never got that so all in all, I have to say this was a, a very good game. I managed to do what I needed, but uh, I was quite lucky many times uh, in many ways. All right, so that's my first how to play video and uh, I hope I did everything right. If you saw an error, comment on the video. Uh, if you have any questions about the rules, comment on the video, I will help you out. Uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. I'm planning to put more Pavlos House videos on the tube and uh, showing some other solitaire World War II board games. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.